When it comes to making fertilizer recommendations, one of the important factors that we consider on how we make recommendations is the mobility of a nutrient in the soil. Now, we have to start with the soil itself, not the nutrient, but the soil. So the soil itself has a net negative charge. So if the soil particle is right here, it has a negative charge to it. As we know, like charges repel, opposite charges attract. So in most cases, we can look at the charge of a nutrient. Let's say ammonium, NH4. NH4, and it is a positive. So we will have this combination where the ammonium wants to sit on the soil particle because it is negative and opposites attract. So this is a positive cation being attracted to the negative soil. Now, I usually talk about nitrate as being the most mobile of all of our nutrients. Nitrate is NO3 negative. So we have a negatively charged. That's why they repel each other. So the soil particle and the nitrate particle repel each other, and nitrate stays in water solution. So because it's in water solution, wherever the soil water goes up, down, sideways, nitrate will follow. And as long as nitrogen is the mobile, is in the ammonium form, it will stay on or near the soil particle for most cases. A mobile nutrient, if you have the plant roots right here, and my pretty plant here coming up, we have the plant, there's the soil, we have our plant roots. A, a plant can access mobile nutrients from a large volume of soil. Everything that that plant can draw water from can reach it. So our nitrogen recommendations, our sulfur recommendations, uh, things like boron and others, we make a recommendation based upon yield needed because it is pulling a volume. Now on our immobile nutrients, uh, that would be like um, phosphorus, ammonium even, but we're going to focus on phosphorus, iron, manganese, and zinc, many of our metals. We're drawing from an area that is really just millimeters away from the root surface. And so that need, means we need a concentration of that nutrient in the soil. So on yield, we just need a total, or on our mobile nutrients, we just need a total uh, total for the plant to use. But on our immobile nutrients, we need a concentration. So that's why for nitrogen, sulfur, and boron, it's a yield goal based recommendation. And for things like phosphorus, iron, uh, manganese, and zinc, it's a concentration or a sufficiency. For more information about nutrient mobility, check out the SUNUP website at www.sunup.okstate.edu.